Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're going to like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, then hey, welcome back. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about all things ancestor. I love talking about ancestors and helping you guys get in touch with your ancestors. So let's go ahead and get into it now i have a beautiful sponsor for today's video that sent me so much stuff a lot of stuff that you can use to connect with your ancestors so we're going to be going through ancestor money protection spray intention spray florida water the crystals that you can use to connect with your ancestors and then some okay so first things first let's give it up for the sponsor let's get into the sponsor okay so this video is sponsored by soulful vibes co you guys should definitely check them out on instagram they have so much stuff on their instagram not just their products they give you information about different crystals different spiritual little tips and stuff like that so make sure you guys check them out on instagram and their website literally has everything on there that you guys asked me about crystal jewelry, Florida water, protection sprays, all different types of crystals, all different types of oils, literally. Everything that you guys could ever want in a spiritual emporium is on this website. So y'all make sure y'all get into it. Check it out. And of course, I have a coupon code for you guys, Pixies15, to save you some coin. So but if you guys are interested in connecting with your ancestors, learning how to and getting into it, then just keep on before we get into it, I'm just going to brag on our sponsor a little bit for real. This is a beautiful black owned company. Their website is like they have a little bit of everything. Seriously, any kind of jewelry you could want. They have a lot of different variations of oils and sprays and things like that. Seriously, if you're a beginner and you need a space that kind of has a little bit of everything, all of the stuff that you guys ask me about is on there, which is why I'm so excited we're doing this ancestor video because y'all always ask me about ancestor tea. It's all about wellness, all about being the best you and giving you all the tools you need to make it happen. So yes, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing to know, um, and I got a lot of questions, so I'm just going to put all the information in here. The first thing that you need to know is that it's all about intention. It is all about intention, y'all, when you're connecting with your ancestors or when you're doing anything. I had a lot of people ask me, um, how do I know if, um, how do I know who my ancestors are? I don't know any of my ancestors. I don't have pictures of them. I don't have any, you know, items or belongings from my ancestors. Um, just all kind of different things. I don't have a space for an altar. I don't have money for this. It's all about intention. You don't need an altar connect to connect with your ancestors. Seriously. You don't need an altar to connect with your ancestors. You don't need pictures of them. You don't even need to know who they are. All you need to know is that you are trying to connect with your ancestors that mean to serve your greatest good, your highest good, that mean to continue to push you, show you beautiful things, give you the tea, and let you in on what you need to know so you can get what you want to get. Okay, my ancestors have been helping me, showing me, and blessing me before I even knew how to connect with them. So your ancestors want to help you out. They want to reach out to you. They want to pour into you. All you have to do is ask. It's really as simple as asking. So yes, I would definitely tell you guys write out a prayer or write out a letter to your ancestors. You can put dear ancestors. Any ancestors that I have, that want to connect with me, that want to help me out, that want to reach out to me, that want to pour into me, that serve my greatest good, please connect to me. Visit me in my dreams. I would love to connect with y'all. Let me know what y'all need. Let me know what y'all want. Should I spend more time in nature? Do I need to drink more water? Do I need more time for me or my friends? What they say they are like? What do y'all have for me? Let me know. I guarantee you guys, your ancestors are waiting for you to reach out to them. They don't want to scare you. They don't want to harm you. You know what I'm saying? They want to give you what you need, okay? Your ancestors have paved the way for you, just like mine paved the way for me. So they are here to look after us and look over us. So it's all about intention. I would definitely recommend just writing a letter to them, letting them know that you want to connect with them. Also doing some meditation as well. But first, before you get into anything, you are going to want to cleanse your space. So I have been using lately this signature blend spiritual and intention spray from, of course, Soul Vibes Co. Pixie 15, you are the T. So look at this spray, y'all. Look at this spray. I tried to let it settle a little bit, but I was just spraying it. Y'all know I've been using it. Okay. Okay. It's separated. It's beautiful now. It's beautiful now. But let me shake it on up and let me show you how cute she really get. But this is the protection version. Like I said, they have a couple of different variations of this spray online that you guys can get. So this is, again, the spiritual intention spray. Whenever you guys are using this. Now, let me show y'all. It's a little. Ooh. That is gorgeous. I can look at that all day. So yeah, I just had to show y'all that because that was so cool when I seen that. But you guys can use this spray around your house. You can use it before you sit down at your altar. If you know where your altar is going to be, you can go ahead and spray around in that area. You can spray yourself before you leave, whenever you come back in, whenever you need a little spritz of protection. Okay, get into it. This smells nice. It's refreshing. For real, it's refreshing. I like it. And y'all know I wouldn't be spraying nothing up in my house that smells crazy. So I really, really like this and I have been using this and I really, really like it. So yeah, whenever you guys are using this, you're going to want to go throughout your house and spray. 
And you're going to want to speak some affirmations, speak your intention, and know what you're doing with this. It's all about intention. So if you're going to be welcoming in your ancestors that serve your greatest good with this, beautiful, spray it around. Ancestors that serve my greatest good, you are protected in this space. You are welcome in this space. You guys can use this. Or, you know, if you've been dealing with some heavy energies, I'm removing all stress. I'm removing all harshness from my space. Whatever you need to do, love this for sure. They have oils in here, herbs in here, and crystals as well, which is super, super cool. So, yes, this spray, get you some. So, definitely check out this spray. They also have Florida water. You guys know I love Florida. Florida water, okay? Florida water can be used to cleanse your area, remove harsh, heavy energy. So this is gonna be good as well. If you wanna just spray around the house, and what I usually do is put a little bit in a spray bottle for me, I go around the house, spray, you know, wherever I need to. If it's harsh in the area, if I'm using a spiritual bath, I love adding a little bit of this in my spiritual bath as well. So these are a few things that are good to use if you guys are trying to, you know, prepare your space to connect with your ancestors. So now that your space is cleansed, now that your space is ready, and now that you've removed any fear, or any worry about, you know, tapping into your ancestors, you can go ahead and set up a space for them if you need to. Now, if you don't have a space for an ancestor altar, don't worry about it. You don't need to have an ancestor altar if you don't want one, or if you don't have space for one, you don't need to have one. I like to have one for my ancestors a lot of people if they have the space and the money to make one then they will go ahead and do it but a few things that you guys can use for your ancestor altar you can have photos of your ancestors on there you can have some candles on there their favorite um you know drink if they like a certain type of liquor or something if they like a certain type of cigarettes or tobacco you can put that out there you can give them a shot if they like to drink you know um you can set out some food offerings from them which are really really good if you guys want to do food offerings you just leave it out there for 24 hours always make sure they have water always make sure you know you play their music and stuff like that so your ancestor altar is just a very sacred space where you just you know let your ancestors energy and light be seen through that space you can also use some crystals on your ancestor altar to you know just assist your ancestors give them the energy they need and also assist you as well so of course i got the ancestor set of crystals now they have this ancestor set that's specifically for working with your ancestors and they also have a bunch of different crystals literally crystal emporium y'all need to go over there so we're gonna go ahead and get into each crystal really quick and i'm gonna let you guys know the different ways that you guys can use these and stuff like that so we have rose quartz you guys already know rose, rose quartz is a great crystal for self-love, love, healing, beautiful, divine energy. So you can definitely extend a little bit of love to them with that rose quartz. We also have clear quartz. Okay, we know clear quartz can be used for anything. Now, I would recommend with this crystal, what I'll probably do is leave this on my altar with the intention that, you know, my ancestors' protective energy can stick to this crystal. So if ever I'm going out of town or I'm going somewhere and I need my ancestors with me, I need their backup, I'll just bring this clear quartz, you know, with me. Because remember, clear quartz is great because you can set the intention for clear quartz to do anything for you so we have clear quartz as well we also have amethyst we know we love amethyst okay protection power strength amethyst is also good for mental protection as well so amethyst is a great crystal just to have in general amethyst for your ancestors also guys if your ancestors like a certain color or something like that my ancestors love purple i love purple so i know they're going to love this amethyst if you have a particular you know color or something that your ancestors like you can get them some crystals that color as well or you can get some crystal jewelry that color i told you guys they have a wide selection of crystal jewelry on soulful vibes you can look up some crystal jewelry that's the color of your, like what your ancestor used to wear or something that reminds you of them as well again it's all about intention you can do so many little things to keep your ancestors energy alive that's all that this is about ancestor reverence okay acknowledging your ancestors practicing veneration appreciating them and honoring their energy so yes we have lapidolite which is a beautiful little lavender baby. She kind of looks like amethyst a little bit. This crystal is very, very good for change. It's good for releasing energies. Also for transformation. What better for your ancestors as they're going on their changes and as you are going on your changes as well. Very powerful transition stone. Going into new chapters. Going into new levels. We also have lavender right now. This crystal comes in a bunch of different gorgeous colors. Gorgeous variations. This crystal balances and protects your aura. So this is a great crystal to always have. On your altar, you can leave it on your altar, take it out with you when you leave or whatever the case may be. That way your ancestors' energy are attached to this. Your ancestors are protecting your aura as well. Also a very good crystal for strength. So yes, make sure you guys give your ancestors a little bit of love with this gorgeous ancestor crystal set. Again, make sure you guys use my coupon code to save some coin off. Okay, so we already talked about offerings as far as food and water goes. You guys know you always want to make sure your ancestors have water or a specific beverage that they like. You guys could also do food. Remember, like if you fix yourself a plate, fix your ancestors a little plate. If you get you a little dessert, a little cheesecake, a little ice cream, give them a little bit. You can leave it there for 24 hours and then toss it 
let them use it for what they need to, and then you can dispose of it. Now, you can also do ancestor money. So let's go ahead and get into this gorgeous ancestor money now. What I love about the set from Soulful Vibes is that they come with a bunch of different sizes. Whenever you're using ancestor uh, money, the size of the money definitely matters. When you're using small bills like this, this is good for daily offerings. You know, if you just want to reverence them every single day, just burning, you know, a little bit of this ain't nothing. But if you have something bigger that you're working on or bigger that you're working on with them, you need to give them a little bit more. You're going to use a bigger bill. Okay, so they have small bills that are good, again, for daily offerings and things like that. But bigger bills for bigger work and bigger intention when you need more of their energy, okay? Why do your ancestors need um, ancestor money? Burning ancestor money at the altar for your ancestors is very, very freeing for them. It releases them of debt. It helps them maneuver past karmic debt. Some of our ancestors ascend before, you know, they can finish their work here. Here, So you burn a little bit for them, okay? Give them some of that energy that you are getting because you working, okay? They're giving you money. They put money in your pocket. So burn a little ancestor money for your um, ancestors for sure. Love this ancestor money. Also on every bill, they have the jade emperor okay which is the deity that rules over currency in all realms so yes they also have gold hundred dollar bills on their website if you guys want to see that so this is not the only ancestor money that they have they have a bunch of different kinds but this is a set so i would definitely recommend a set because then you're set you have your small bills and your larger ones as well ancestor money food water tobacco cigarettes weed whatever your ancestors like to indulge in and whatever you want to indulge in as well a lot of times you like money your ancestors gonna like it okay you like a little bit of you know here to see every now and then they might want a little bit too so yes connecting with your ancestors through beautiful offerings love these for sure Okay, guys, a few more questions that you guys had about ancestors. Someone asked about not knowing your ancestors or, you know, not really having information on them. All about intention. Like I keep on saying intention spray okay let me connect with my ancestors that serve my highest and greatest good for real um you don't need to know their name you don't need to have pictures of them or anything all you need to do is want to connect with them that is it your want your desire to connect with them and have them help you and not hurt you is enough to bring it into your space speaking it into existence knowing that it's going to happen and using some of these tools can amplify that so get into it don't worry about connecting with anything or anybody that doesn't mean you any good. Remember before, you're always going to ask for protection. Cleanse your space with a little Florida water. Use this spray to protect yourself. Use, you know, the amethyst to protect yourself. Use some clear quartz to protect yourself. Say a prayer for your ancestors. Use some sound bowl for your ancestors. There's ways to protect yourself that we need to be doing anyway. So protection work is good for us anyway. Some of this stuff we need anyway, okay? Most of this stuff we need anyway. But protecting yourself is going to be key when you're doing anything. That's why we always say we cleanse first ourselves and our space also someone asked you know if you have an ancestor that has a different belief than you um or if you have a specific ancestor that maybe didn't support you here do they want to support you in the afterlife your ancestors do not pass away and then become different you know beings or different energies and my ancestors have the same energy all around me that they did when they were here they like the same type of music they have the same energy whenever they contact me and whenever we get in touch so basically if you had an ancestor here that was nasty chances are they still are nasty okay now you can always like i said just say your highest and greatest good that's all you need to focus on connecting with the ancestors that serve your highest and your greatest good also i wanted to talk about altar placement so if you have an ancestor altar um i had a couple of people that were asking about putting your ancestor altar in your room because people were worried about literally having sex and their ancestors seeing them having sex your ancestors are not bound to that altar okay they're not living at that altar 24 7 that's just a space that you have for them where you honor them in that space but your ancestors are everywhere they ain't bound to that altar girl they got their own life to live they handle their own business that's why we giving them some change on the way okay they got their own stuff going on they're just coming to you whenever you need them. That's why you do the offerings and stuff like that. You care for them and protect the space for them. But your ancestors are not worried about you 24-7, girl. They got their own stuff going on. Also... The reason people say you might not want your altar in your room is because your altar is basically opening a door for those energies to come in and out. So it might disrupt your dreams or disrupt some work that you're doing in your space. So I really feel like it's all up to you. My ancestor altar is in my room because I got two cats and I am about to have them playing with me. Okay, so that's why mine is in my room. But I feel comfortable with my ancestors in my room. Until they tell me they want to be moved, it'll be cool. But it's all up to you. Like we said, some people can't even have ancestor altars. So if you can have a small one and it can only be in your room, just have a small space in your room. But the last thing you need to be worried about is them ancestors watching you do your business. That is the last thing they are worried about as well. Okay. 
But again, it's all about perception. You do what you want. It's your own life. It's your own business. But that is how I feel about it because a lot of people have asked about it. That's how I feel about it, girl. Before you're trying to do, you know, any work for your ancestors, remember, protect yourself, set that intention, and cleanse yourself. We are really in control of everything that we do. So if we are in a space where negativity is coming in, we're in a space where we have all these energies against us, you have the power to block those energies. And your ancestors want to help you block them. Spend some time in nature. Write a letter to your ancestors, okay? Pour out a little liquor for them at a tree, girl. Spend some time with them. Honor them. Also, make sure that you have a weapon of some kind on your ancestor altar. It could be a little knife, a little pocket knife, um, whatever you want to have on your ancestor altar. Make sure you have something there so they can protect you as well from anything that's going to be around, you know. But um, yeah, um, happy connecting with your ancestors. I know you guys are going to have a really, really good time connecting with them. Also, I had a couple of people ask me, how do I know it's my ancestor? Now, for me, um, whenever I connect with my ancestors, I can see them kind of in my head. It's like I'll visualize them telling me certain things or I'll hear their voice or you'll smell their cologne or their perfume or something like that. So you'll know it's your ancestor. And if you want a clear sign, then let them know. Is it you? I ain't sure. Can you let me know, please? Like, don't worry. Like, talk to your ancestors. How you need to talk to them? Like, can I get a sign that y'all here? I need to know y'all up in the building. Like, talk to them. They will let you know. And again, let them speak to you in your dreams. If you want them to come to you so you can really see them in front of you, tell them to visit you in your dreams they definitely will remember it's all about attention they're waiting to see what you want and what you need and they will stand in the gap for you as they have been already before you even knew you needed them or whatever you needed they are in the gap for you anyway they're just waiting on you to make the connection so yes guys it's all about intention it's all about intention i'm gonna keep saying that your ancestors want to pour into you they want to help you and give them a passageway to do that and while they are doing that we're going to honor them. We're going to give them offerings. We're going to remember their energy, remember their legacy. We're going to play their favorite music every once in a while, fix their favorite meal every once in a while, enjoy them and honor them as they travel, you know, through their different planes. And so, yes, guys, that is what I have for you about your ancestors. Thank you again, Soulful Vibes Co. for sponsoring this video. Everybody needs to know Ancestor Team. Remember, guys, to check out the Spiritual and Intention Spray, the Florida Water, the Ancestor Set of Crystals, and the Ancestor Money, along with everything else that they have on the site. So, yes. I love you guys. Um, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bless.